Hello everyone and welcome. So in this video I'll be showing you how you can do some procedural UVs in Odini. Basically I had this geometry which is a bit high poly from a VDB operation and I couldn't select any seams or do the UVs in a more traditional way. So I have a technique to show you on how you can UV a mesh like this. So yeah, let's get into it. Okay, starting with this initial geometry, which is a bit high poly and a weird uh, tessellation, as you can see. So let's look at this, what I called sheep UVs. So first I'm remeshing it to, to reduce the poly count and re-projecting it to the original geometry. So we keep the silhouette. Then poly reducing because I'm going to select only those hard angles those edges by using the mean edge length and as you can see it's doing a good job this will end up being our seams then converting to a line resembling it quite a bit and re-projecting it to the original cake geometry smooth, smooth a bit the lines creating a group called seams and now I'm going to add a color in this case red and a black color to the cake then transferring that and since we're going to use the Find Shortest Path node, we will use this as a cost attribute. But in this case, we need it inverted. That's why I am using this. I am inverting the red color. And coming to this part of the network, we have the, the curves. Now we need to resample it quite a bit. Otherwise, we, we, we would uh, iterate too many times in the loop. So resampling it and converting to line, so each segment becomes a single primitive, as you can see. I can show you the points. And we will iterate over each line, which j just have two points. And in the find shortest path, we can introduce that path cost that we created, and the start and end points to 0 and 1. And if we iterate, we get the shortest paths of those, th those lines. And then we can group it and group transfer it to the original geometry, as you can see. Then it's a matter of UV flatten and passing the <coughs> and passing the seams, and we end up with uh, some almost perfect UVs for this kind of geometry. So as you can see, some of the UV shells are slightly rotated, and of course you can use a UV transform. But let's have a look at the procedural approach using this HDA I created. And I will make sure to include this on the Patreon files. But basically I'm creating a connectivity on the UVs, then adding a, a, a mask along the Y using the relative bounding box, swapping these to UV space. And now we can measure the gradient of that mask. As you can see, we will have the direction. And finally, we can calculate the angle by using some vex and swapping it again to, to 3D space, let's say, and UV layout to have them because in this part they are they can be overlapping each other. Promote the UVs to vertices, I believe, yes, and then fusing the points. And that's basically how I've done the, the UVs for this cake, and I've done the same for the slice, as you can see. And of course this is basic geometry, but I hope this come in handy in some of your proje future projects. So yeah, that's basically it. If you want, you can grab this part of the scene on Patreon, and I hope to see you next time. Thank you.